All right, uh, in this video, I'll give you my thoughts about this uh, lady from Australia in the Olympics. Uh, her name is what? Uh, Rachel Gunn, Ray Gunn. Um, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you must have seen enough and more videos and memes and you know stuff about her that she got zero. Uh, her score was zero in a break dancing competition, which was uh, kind of made official in the Olympics. And uh, her dance, uh, they've taken clips of it, you know, where she acts like a kangaroo and she does all the twisting motions and all that. So I'll give you my thoughts. Feel free to let me know your thoughts as well. Okay. Uh, look, I, um, I'm not a very big fan of dancing. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that I admire people who dance well. I definitely have a lot of respect for people who know ballroom dancing or, uh, you know, traditional dance, even break dance for that matter. If you really want to be blown away and want to be impressed by actual break dancing, just uh, type on YouTube, uh, Red Bull, uh, finals red bull finals um let me see if i can get it uh, uh, it's lilo uh, lilo versus uh, i'll tell you red bull red bull break dance finals lilo let me see if that is the one um yeah icons on the battle for b boy l i l o u versus b cloud b boy cloud yeah, um, it has 8 million views. 14 years ago, this video was uploaded on Red Bull BC1. Okay, uh, search, just type in the search. Icon, icons of the battle floor, B-Boy Lilo, L-I-L-O-U versus B-Boy Cloud. The, the way they dance, I mean, it's unbelievable. It is, it takes so much of core strength it takes so much of practice. You can literally break your arm. You can break your leg. Uh, there is no room for mistakes. And the way these guys dance, it's like as if they don't have any bones or, you know, as if it's so damn easy. Like they will do a headstand, they will flip and they will stand on, uh, you know, on their palm, whole body weight, and then suddenly come to the elbow. The chances of, <coughs> of life destroying injury is so high. You can't have a single mistake and I'm very sure um, uh, to reach at this level, they would have given 10 to 15 years of their lives. So I have nothing but respect for the break dancing community. And like I told you, I consider dancing as a, um, you know, a skill that takes years. But <laughs> why did I say I'm not a very big fan of it is because almost every boy and girl, uh, they think they can become a world class dancer the chances of you making it as a livelihood, a chance of you making it as a career is very, very rare. In fact, I don't know, you can tell me if I'm wrong or right. What can you do if you are a very good break dancer or very good dancer? Like what kind of money, what kind of career? I'm not aware uh, of very many options. <clears throat> there is also another channel. I think it is called World of Dance, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they have short clips on, wait, World of Dance. Uh, they have short clips on Instagram. Yeah, I, yeah, it is official World of Dance. Very, uh, uh, you know, mind-blowing uh, dances. And I think there is this, um, uh, this, this female who did the I'm a Barbie girl, which went viral, okay? So <laughs> the point I'm trying to make here is... Um, Yes, I'm not a big fan of break dancing or any kind of dance because I do not see any career growth or career prospects. Uh, it's more like getting into movies where if you are the point zero 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 whatever percent, you'll make a livelihood out of it. Others you'll not. Okay, so that's my only bone of contentions. But otherwise, I have nothing but absolute regard and respect for all dancers because the amount of hard work, sacrifice, and uh, to reach that level of being the world's best, it's, I don't know, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And especially when you do a group dance where uh, choreography or coordination is required. So, you know, respect should be given where respect is due. Now, coming to this female Ray Gunn, uh, Rachel Gunn, first and foremost is you got zero. Okay. Okay. Let's let's focus on things that she can be proud of or uh, we should give her respect. 
The first one that surprised me is not her breakdance uh, uh, credentials. Rather, she is a PhD. And I was like, oh, goodness, wow. PhD, you know, even though I'm a school or college dropout or high school dropout, as they say, I have nothing but regard and respect for people who are disciplined to complete their education. And she has not only done a degree, she has done a master's, she has done PhD. So it's like, wow. So she is an intellect of sorts. So I respect her for that. The second thing what I respect is I have, for the life of me, uh, I do not know how she qualified to represent an entire nation. Now, there are uh, claims that her husband was in the committee or uh, he pulled the strings to get her there. Okay, whatever. Oh, um, I, I don't know for a fact. Uh, these are claims, like they have the conspiracy theories. So it seems that um, she, through her contacts, connections, whatever, she qualified. Okay, so she made it. Now, after making it, um, Obviously, you're on the world stage. Everyone's looking at you. Now, <laughs> had she given an average decent performance? I'm just saying decent, average. I don't think the world would be talking about it. The reason why everyone's talking about it, In fact, have you noticed nobody's talking of the first place winner, the second place winner, the third place winner. Nobody's talking of the winners. It's a very strange phenomenon. Normally, if you look at uh, 100 meters or you're talking of javelin throw, you would know, okay, like in javelin throw, uh, Nadeem from Pakistan won uh, the gold medal, then Neeraj from India, he won the silver. Then in uh, the 100 meters dash, there was a controversy of uh, one four hundredth of a second, one guy crossed. So in every other sport, we focused on who got the gold medal, who got the silver, who got the bronze. Even though we don't remember the silver and bronze, at least we focus on the medal winners. But this breakdance competition was, her performance was so pathetic. Her performance was so, I don't know, embarrassing or bad that nobody spoke about the first place, second place winner. Everyone was speaking on an atrocious um, performance. And, okay, you can't... Uh, uh, Obviously, because Olympics, they have the rights for uh, broadcasting, so you could not see it live. But out of the response videos that we managed to get clips of it, her dance was terrible. What I want you to do is compare the Red Bull Challenge finals, which I told you that Lilo uh, icons of the dance floor, battle floor, B-Boy Lilo versus B-Cloud, Red Bull BC1, that's the channel name. Compare that to what she did. And I'll tell you, it is like watching, a, uh, it is like watching a, uh, a person fry an egg for the first time who doesn't know how to fry an egg, doesn't know you have to put oil. Like when I fried egg for the first time, I didn't know you're supposed to put oil. I was just like, how do you fry an egg? You know, I, I actually forgot to put oil, okay? Versus a Michelin star chef. That is the difference between what Reagan did versus what the, uh, you know, the world's best are doing. Or, and imagine this is Red Bull, this is not Olympics. So, and I think what made it even more worse was when the Australian coach, instead of addressing the performance is not up to the mark, yeah, you need to support your candidate or you need to support your athlete. But don't start giving us boring bullshit uh, sob stories. Oh, a couple of years ago, she was depressed and she was sad. And now she had the courage to lift herself up. Nobody cares about your sad stories or your personal problems. It's like uh, an athlete got the last place in uh, 100 meters dash. Uh, and we have to admire him for, uh, oh, his mother was sick. His father was hospitalized. Nobody gives a damn. Here in the Olympics, you're talking of merit-based achievement. And she got zero, completely zero. And on top of that, you are trying to exalt her and praise her. And then on top of that, if you were to criticize her, you were called a bigot or you're called misogynist or you were uh, an evil person. So <laughs> for me, yes, I do admire that she's a PhD in terms of education. I do surprisingly, in a matter of surprise, I'm pretty baffled that she even managed to represent Australia. But I don't think she is the best Australia has to offer. That is definitely 
no way nobody can convince me that that is the best break dancer in australia because australians uh, come on like any nation uh, compared to her you have miles apart they will be someone they will be someone uh, who's better than her they, i'm pretty sure there would be 100 people better than her and uh, the reason why she's being mocked why she's being made fun of is because the moves that she showed of you know kangaroo jumping and you know posing and twisting it looked like a lady in you know a mother of four children who didn't know how to dance and was trying to impress people. So it was terrible. It was absolutely atrocious. So do I think that she deserves to be made fun of? I don't think anyone should be made fun of or anyone should be bullied online. But when you are trying to be a public figure and when you are trying to show off to the entire world in today's day and age of social media, you will be mocked, you will be ridiculed, you will be made fun of. and. Um, whether me or anybody else, if you are going to put yourself out there in the public for everyone to see in the spotlight, get ready for criticism, get ready for people to make fun of you, get ready for being ripped apart. That, is, that comes with the territory, that comes with the profession that you choose. If you lock yourself up in the house and nobody can see you, then obviously nobody will make fun of you and nobody will praise you. So I don't say that she deserves all the hate she's getting, but then again, what can you do? You put yourself out there, right? So yeah, <laughs> I just hope that Australia redeems itself by finally showing its actual talent. And I'm very curious to see what is the best in Australia, the number one, true, true, or at least the top 10 in Australia, show their actual ability to dance. And please, next time, don't get this lady to represent Australia. It's a joke. It shows that something was really fishy in the selection process. And they need to reveal the truth and finally bring this matter to close. So that's what I had to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. This is me signing off. You guys take care.